So let's look here at the, this English part first. Through the windows, one sees a garden. We have already read it on the German part. The dining room is not as large as the living room. Here, one sees, among other things, a table, a sideboard, and six chairs. The table is round. The six chairs stand around the table. One bedroom is rather large. That is for the parents. Two bedrooms are somewhat smaller. Those are the children's bedrooms. One for the two boys and one for the two girls. Both children's bedrooms have two beds, two little tables, two chairs, a wardrobe, some drawers and some pictures. Yes, the house of Mr. Clark is really beautiful and comfortable. Then we move on to the German part. So let's try to make do with what we have. Now here, Durch die Fenster sieht man einen Garten. Through the windows, one sees a garden. Durch die Fenster sieht man einen Garten. Das Esszimmer ist nicht so groß wie das Wohnzimmer. The, 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 the dining room is not as big as the living room. The dining room is not as big as the living room. Das Esszimmer is nicht so groß wie das Wohnzimmer. Hier sieht man unter anderem einen Tisch, einen Buffet und sechs Stühle. Unter anderem means among other things. UA, UA, unter anderem, among other things. Hier sieht man unter anderem einen Tisch, ein Buffet und sechs Stühle. Here, one sees, among other things, a table, a sideboard and six chairs. Hier sieht man unter anderem, among other things, einen Tisch, a table, einen Buffet, a sideboard and six chairs, sechs Stühle. The Tisch, you know the table. It's round. The table is round. The six stools stand on the table. The six chairs stand around the table, or are packed around, are arranged around the table. The six chairs, the six chairs, are arranged around the table, or stand around the table. The six stools stand on the table. Beautiful, isn't it? Die sechs Stühle stehen um den Tisch. That's beautiful. Ein Schlafzimmer, one of the bedrooms. Ein Schlafzimmer is ziemlich groß. Somewhat, ziemlich, somewhat. One bedroom is rather large. Rather large, somewhat or rather. Ein Schlafzimmer is ziemlich groß, is rather big. Das is für the Elton. Das is für the Elton. Ein Schlafzimmer. One bedroom is rather large. That is for the parents. Ein Schlafzimmer is ziemlich groß. Das is für the Elton. Zwei Schlafzimmer sind etwas kleiner. Zwei Schlafzimmer sind etwas kleiner. Two bedrooms are somehow smaller. Or somewhat smaller. Two bedrooms are somewhat smaller. Zwei Schlafzimmer sind etwas kleiner. Das sind die Kinderschlafzimmer. These are the children's bedroom. Or oh, those are the children's bedroom. 
eins für die zwei Jungen und eins für die zwei Mädchen. Two for the two, uh, one for the two boys and one for the two girls. In the other, in the, in the previous lesson, um, I mentioned that Junge, which is the modern version of Knabe. Knabe is the old version of boys. When we want to say boys, we say Knabe, Knaben. One boy is Knabe. Many boys are Knaben. Now, in modern times, they don't, they no longer use the Knabe. They use the Junge, like young. Junge, eins für die zwei Junge und eins für die zwei Mädchen. Beide Kinder Schlafzimmer haben zwei Betten. Both, beide means both. Beide Kinder Schlafzimmer haben zwei Betten, zwei Tischlein, zwei Stühle, einen Kleiderschrank, eine Kommode und einige Bilder. Both children's bedroom have two beds, two small tables, two chairs, a, a wardrobe, glider means clothes, glider means clothes, shrunk means a board, or yes, like cupboard, shrunk, cupboard. So if it's a wardrobe, they call it a clothing board, glider shrunk, clothing board, glider shrunk. We call it wardrobe, wardrobe. And then wardrobe, and then Kleiderschrank, and a commode, and einige Bilder. Both children's bedrooms have two beds, have two beds, two little tables, two chairs, a wardrobe, some drawers, and some pictures. So the drawers are the commode. And the builder are the pictures. So, by the now say it after me. By the Kinder Schlafzimmer haben zwei Betten, zwei Tischlein, zwei Stühle, einen Kleiderschrank, eine Kommode und einige Bilder. Einige means some, some pictures. Einige Bilder. Yeah, yeah means yes. Yeah, das Haus von Herrn Clark ist wirklich schön und bequem. You understand bequem already? Like here. Das Haus von Herrn. I want you to explain this in English for me right now. Yeah means yes. Yeah, das Haus von Herrn Clark ist wirklich schön und bequem. What is the meaning? It means Yes, the home of Mr. Clark is really beautiful and what? Comfortable. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That is very beautiful, my students. Now look at lesson five, Vort Schatz. Vort Schatz. Now we see the words that we met in the passage. Das Bett, which means the bed. Das Bettchen, little bed. As soon as the add chin, it means something else. It means little. You have added little to the bed. A little bed. Das Bettchen. The tisch, the table. Das tisch line. Now we have chin and we have line. All means little, but depends on which word. As soon as you mention tisch, you can add chin. To tish. You can't say tish chen. But when you are mentioning a small bed, you can say bed chen. But here it's line. That's bed. That's a normal bed. That's bed chen. That's bed chen. It's a small bed. The tish is a table. That's tish line. So as soon as you want to mention the tish, it is 
the tish straight. But das tish line is a new term, which is das tish line. This is masculine. The tish is masculine, but as soon as you want to make it smaller, you make it a new term naturally. So you say das tish line. Das buffet. Das buffet. Buffet. Germans pronounce words according to their spelling. So buffet. Buffet. That's buffet. The sideboard or buffet. The sideboard or buffet. That's buffet. Bu buffet. The commode, the chest of drawers. Today they don't exist so much, but there are still old homes that have a lot of drawers uh, in a board. Call it the commode. That's fenster. That's fenster. The window. That's fenster. The window. The tier. The door. The tier. Here is das. It's neuter. And here is a, a, this is feminine. So every word belongs to one particular gender. Das Fenster is neuter. So make sure that anytime you are mentioning window in German, it's das Fenster. If there are many windows, say die Fenster. It make D means it becomes plural, the fenster. And now, now that it's single, single, we say das fenster. Make it a point that you don't change it. You can't say the fenster when you mean a single window. Das fenster, the window. The tür, the door. It's a feminine, that's why it's D. You can't say das tür, das is neutral. The Wohnung, the flat, apartment or a home. The Vono, each Vono here, I live here. Vono is the flat at apartment or a home. The Vono. That's Sema, you already know, is the room. Bequem, comfortable. Bequem's auto, a comfortable car. Bequem's auto, a comfortable car. Hell is bright. Dunkel is dark. Klein means small. Kleiner means smaller. Mobliert, you understand, is furnished. Rund, round. Um, around. Mit, with. Wirklich, really. Really. Do you mean it? Wirklich, do you mean it? Really? Yes, wirklich, yeah, wirklich. Simlish, it's rather. That's how it's simlish gross. It's rather big or large. Aus of them, besides. Aus of them hat Africa einen Deutsch Lehrer. Also, Africa has a German teacher. Beide, both, einige, some, several, both, beide, several, einige, einige men are coming, some men are coming, einige, Leute, some people, beide men are, both men, etwas means somewhat or something, etwas kommt, something is coming, Advice is here. Something is here. Something or somewhat. It is as is advice grows. It is somewhat big or large. So grows V. So grows V. As large as. As large as. Das auto is so grows V the anderen. This car, the car is as large as, or as big as the other car. Das auto, das Haus is so gross with the other house. The house is as big as the other house. Good. Let's go to Deutsche Ausdrücke. Here sieht man viel Häuser. Here one sees many houses. Here sieht man viel Häuser. Here, you see man here. 
it does not necessarily mean a, ma a man, but it means a human. So in, Germ in English, we don't say here, one, a human sees many houses. We say one sees many houses, or you can see many houses. Here, you can see many houses. You can see many houses here. Here sieht man viel Häuser. Here sieht man viel Häuser. You will find many houses here. That is the simplest way I can explain that. You will find many houses here. Here sieht man viel Häuser. Here one sees many houses. That's the direct translation. Here one sees many houses. Or you can find many houses here. Here sieht man viel Häuser. So you can say it in other, you can create your own sentences. Here sieht man viel, viel, viel Dorfer. Dorfer. Dorf is a, a, a village, many villages. Here sieht man viel Dorfer. Here sieht man viel Betten. The words that you've already learned, you can just apply them. Here sieht man viel Betten. Here one sees many birds, or you can find many birds here. Here lent man viel Deutsch. Please, can you explain that to me without reading here? Here learned man feel Deutsch. Here you can learn much German. Here you can learn much German. Here learned man feel Deutsch. Dort zinkt man oft. There people often sink. Dort zinkt man oft. Oft means often. Now note. The shin and the line. The shin or line added to a noun signifies little or fondness. So when we see shin or line, the fondness you have for that item or person is how you describe it. Oh, I need a I tish line. And a tish like small table, cute, uh -huh. we call it cute, little, little bed shin, bed shin, cute bed, very cute, oh, the bed is very cute, that is, that's bed is, uh, that's bed shin, that's bed, that's bed shin, that is just bed shin, shin, so little bed, so the how, no, the, 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 it's other two, uh, when this shin or line is added to a noun, it signifies little of fondness for the person or thing mentioned. Brotherline, for example, is little brother or dear brother. Brotherline, my little brother. Schwesterchen, that is sisterchen, your sisterchen, small sister. Schwesterchen is small sister, little sister or dear sister. Brotherline. His little brother or dear brother. Such nouns are always in the neuter form. Now let's get down here. Ven means whom. Ven. Ven. And we have them. We have them. We have ven. When sehen Sie? Whom do you see? Whom do you see? Whom do you see? When sehen Sie? Now bear that in mind that S is pronounced Z, always Z, and Z itself is pronounced T S, Z, Z. and then Z S is pronounced Z. When sehen Sie? I see. Whom do you see? I see the man. I see a man. I see no man. I see the men, I see no men. I see the, the woman, I see a woman, I see no woman. I see the women, I see no women. I see the child, I see a child, I see no child. I see the children, I see no children. So these are the explanations in English. When sehen Sie, whom do you see? Ich sehe, then answer, I see, ich sehe. I conjugated that in the third lesson, I suppose. Ich sehe, du siehst, er sieht. Ich sehe den Mann, I see the man. 
Ich sehe einen Mann. I see a man. Ich sehe keinen Mann. I see no man. Ich sehe die Männer. I see the men. Plural. Ich sehe keine Männer. I see no men. Plural. Now let's go to feminine. This is masculine, feminine and neuter. Now, ich sehe die Frau. I see the woman. Now explain that in English for me. When I have, after having pronounced this after me, you explain that in English to yourself. Ich sehe die Frau. I see the woman. Correct. Ich sehe eine Frau. I see a woman. That's correct. Well done. Ich sehe keine Frau. I see no woman. Beautiful. Ich, ich sehe die Frauen. I see the women. The women. That's beautiful. Ich sehe keine Frauen. I see no women. Beautiful. Well done. Now let's go here. The neuter. Just as we did with this. As soon as we are, we are done with the Dutch pronunciation, you explain it in German to yourself, in English to yourself. Ich sehe das Kind. Well done, I see the child. Ich sehe das Kind. I see the child. Ich sehe ein Kind. Ein Kind. What is the meaning? Ich sehe ein Kind. I see a child. Beautiful. Ich sehe kein Kind. I see no child. I see no child. Ich sehe kein Kind. Ich sehe die Kinder. Here it's plural. Here. This neuter falls under plural. Here. Ich sehe die Kinder. What is the meaning? I see the children. Beautiful. Ich sehe keine Kinder. Keine Kinder. I see no children. That is beautiful. So here, bear this in mind, the noun, the definite and indefinite articles and the interrogative pronoun are expressed in the accusative always. Bear that in mind, the noun, the definite and indefinite articles and the interrogative pronoun are expressed in the accusative. So bear that in mind once again. I want you to read after me, bear that in mind. Here, the noun, definite and indefinite articles and the interrogative pronoun are expressed in the accusative. Thank you very much. That is the end of chapter five. Please download, um, thumb up for me and subscribe. The subscription will move us forward. So just click that subscribe button is red. And then that's thumb up. And then people have been sending messages. Just leave a comment there. Come on. Write something that you don't understand. Write it there so that I will explain to you. A German wrote to me and reminded me that we no longer say Knaben. We say Junge. So I changed it from Knabe to Junge. That was good. Germans are reading it. They are even learning from me. How much more you? Some Germans who cannot speak English are using this opportunity to learn English. So as I teach German, they are rather learning English. So what about you? You are learning German, their language. So take the chance. Just subscribe, thumb up, leave a comment. Let's move on. Have a nice day.